What is up, Banana Army? I hope this one doesn't go well. This is the third time I'm trying to record this. Erg. Stupid mics. Anyway, um, that's what you get for a face cam that has a mic and this thing that has a mic. Face cam has a really crappy mic. This thing has a really good mic. So, okay. Anyway. Welcome to another video. Hopefully this one doesn't need to get scrapped. <laughs> so, what I am doing now is, uh, well, it's different from other things we've done before. Uh, well, number one, you can see me and only me. I did a little bit. I think it's a cool thing. I'm literally watching myself talk back to me. How are you doing, self? No, good? That's good. I, I, I'm gonna leave now. Oh, dang it, my stupid chair. Anyway, um, <laughs> I don't know why I did it. I threw my... Hey. Oh, one second. Hey. Today, if you've read the title of the video, if you haven't, what the heck is wrong with you? Why did you click on this video? Just that. Hold on. One, one second. Well, one, one second, boys. I got it. Got it. So, we're comparing... I don't know if you knew this, but we're comparing the Pixel 3. It just went off. Stupid. Phone. And the iPhone. Also, this is one of our own cases. Can't get this case no more. You can't get a new design of it. We discontinued this design of it. So, well. Why did I do that? Anyway, uh, I threw it at that. That that cabinet right there. Not the computer on top of it. That'd be dumb. Why would I do that? I don't know. Me. Who knows? Anyway, um. So, what we're doing right now is comparing the Pixel 3 and the iPhone. <laughs> so. I'm using Business Insider as the va as the website. That's where I'm getting some of the information. There is some things that I have con collected from using this phone for a while now. So um, let's get into it. I'm going to bring up the website. Okay. Don't need that. That's useless. Okay, first thing that we're comparing between the two. The iPhone XS Max has a 6.5 inch display. So it has a, it's, it's a bigger display. I would say that's pretty good. Anyway, um, the Pixel 3 XL has a 6.3 inch display. Now, personally, for me, I don't mind a big screen. I think the iPhone screen is a little too big. Uh, for my liking, I have seen it. I think I have. I don't, I've never had the excess. <laughs> um, I like the, the Pixel's screen. It's very nice. Um, it's very, um, even though it's smaller, they did make it that it covers the entire, um, screen. I like that. I like that a lot. So, what I'm, what, what's next to compare? Okay. Well then. So, the, um, between the iPhone XS Max and the Pixel 3 XL, 
They both have similar specs. Similar. Not really. But anyway, um, until you get to the size. The excess max, um, is 157.7 millimeters tall and 77.4 millimeters wide. The Pixel 3 XL is 158 millimeters tall and 76.7 millimeters wide. So it's a lot bigger. A lot. Well, not, not, not this way, but this way is a, it's a little bit bigger. I like that. It's taller, but yet the display is smaller. That doesn't make that much sense. Anyway. Oh, also, I found this pretty funny when I read through this earlier. The iPhone XS Max is significantly heavier than the Pixel 3 XL. It weighs... Yep, yep, just hold on. Oh, I hope you did take a sip of anything that is about to come out. <laughs> it weighs 208 grams. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> the Pixel 3 XL clocks at 184 grams. That is, that is different. That is quite the difference. What? Okay. That, no, that, of course that does not work. Anyway, um, storage. The Pixel only comes in, uh, with two different storage options. The iPhone comes with three. The iPhone XS Max has a 64 uh, 256 and a 512 gigabyte version. So, three different versions. Pretty good. The Pixel 3 has, uh, uh the Pixel 3 has, uh, 64 gigabytes and 128 gigabytes. Now, Google has one up Apple a little bit. Being that it, if you didn't know, Google uses it has its cloud storage, at least when it comes to your pictures. Um, no, pretty much a lot of things actually on the phone are cloud storage. Um, Google offers free unlimited storage in Google Photos. Uh, well, Apple uh, makes you pay for iCloud storage. If you want more than five gigabytes, so uh, for me, I've actually found a way to break uh, the Google one. I have actually filled it. Well, I f did fill it. My emails cloud, I actually filled. Um, it has fifteen gigabytes on it. I did not know that. Everyone said, "Oh, it's unlimited." No, no, it's not unlimited. But fifteen gigabytes. <laughs> It takes quite a, quite a bit of stuff to fill that. I, I figured out how. <laughs> anyway, um, I did get it back, obviously. That doesn't matter. Okay, this this is kind of funny. Okay, so of course, both phones come in three different colors. iPhone. XS Max comes in gray, silver, and gold. All their normal colors, uh, primarily the names. Then there's the Pixel 3 XL. J just listen. J just listen to this. Comes in just black. That's what I have. This is just black. See? Just black. Clearly white. That's an interesting name. I will give them that. That's a weird name for a for a phone color and uh, not pink why'd they call it that i can't add a picture onto the screen if i could there'd be a picture on the screen but um it's kind of a 
cream color. It's not pink. I don't know why they'd even name it not pink. That's really stupid. <laughs> Uh, none of that matters. Ah, okay. Um, so, something I find, uh, kind of interesting. Now we're on to cameras. The iPhone XS Max has two rear cameras on the, on the, like, on this side. The iPhone, that's the, about the iPhone. Um, the Pixel 3 XL only has one. So, um, they were able to squish everything they wanted to into one lens. One Apple had two. Odd. Okay, very weird. Um, Then, something that makes the Pixel camera superior is the, um, equipment. Well, the software. Um, there's Night Sight, which is an alternative to using Flash in low-light situations. If Google, uh, blah, 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 they, they, like I said, this is before it released, um, it will make photos much brighter and clearer. I agree. It has. I've taken lots of photos with it. It has made them a lot clearer. This one, this feature is pretty cool. Photo booth mode. Um, the, the camera will automatically take your photo if you're smiling or making a funny face. I love that, and you don't have to worry about pressing the button, so, I would test it, but nah, I'm not gonna test it. Why would I test it? That's weird. Anyway, um, portrait mode. It has been improved, so you can edit the depth of field after the... After the f fact, um, yes, the iPhone XS can do this, but, um, you can also make colors pop by muting other colors, yet the iPhone don't do that, or this, or change the focal subject of the photo. Yeah, uh, iPhone don't got nothing on that. Um... Then a super resolution zoom hmm. will give you better close-up photos without losing the detail. Yep. Yep, I, I've... Yep. And is that it? Mm. Oh, nope. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is in American prices. Still flipping nuts. Um, the iPhone XS Max is hold on, hold on. It's <laughs> costs two hundred dollars more than the Pixel Three XL, with um starting at one thousand ninety-nine dollars. And can cost as much as $1,449. And that's um, that's if you buy the 512 gigabyte. <laughs> that's nuts. <laughs> then the Pixel 3 XL starts at $899. And can cost as much as uh, $999. So, yeah, that's, that's very significantly different. Okay, so now out of there. Okay. So, next. What are we doing next? What are we going to be showing next? Now, me using this, I love listening to music. The speaker in this is amazing. 
It's full on nuts. Um, I was able to put the phone through its paces in, um, in a trip, uh, a five-hour flight, uh, <laughs> in my old, on my own phone, old phone, my phone would have had to been charged, like, three or four times. This lasted from 84% all the way through a five-hour flight. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> well, not two five-hour flights back-to-back. -back. It probably would not have lasted that. But it lasted two five-hour flights with... And ended up around the same area. It started at the same percentage and ended at the same percentage. Like, that is crazy. I did not want to hit my keyboard. phone. Anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, uh, something I really like in that I've used an iPhone for years. Um, Google did this right. Um, when you get the i the Pixel, it tells you how you can actually, uh, Back it up. Number one, you just pop up the SIM card and put it into the Pixel. That's pretty cool. Then, to transfer all your stuff, you would think it plugs into a computer. No. You use this. You plug this into the back of the Pixel. Like that. Like that. And then the iPhone cord goes in here. The other end plugs into the iPhone. And it transfers everything. Um, which I find really cool. Being that... That t that says they know there's people that are probably coming from an Apple device to this one. So I find that pretty cool. And, um... Of course, I listen to these when I'm traveling. Being that they're noise cancelling and blah 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 blah. Anyway, I give this. Being that these have a 3.5 millimeter jack on on the end, or HDMI, I guess I could use. I just didn't. I I didn't want to take the chance of it not working. But um, this 3.5 millimeter jack adapter. Apple do, does not do this. They gave me this. I did not. I did not have to spend any more for this. They gave this right in the box, and it like that. That's a pretty good thing to give. And that, besides something else that they give, gave that I thought is pretty cool. Being that some people don't have headphones. Some people had the Apple earbuds. Well, Google thought of head of that. Uh, and uh, if you got the phone, you got earbuds with it. <laughs> you got two, uh, a set of earbuds, but sort of, and they're the Pixel, they're Google brand earbuds. Like they they made these for the phone. Like, Apple didn't, has never done that. Ever. They might have before with their old earbuds. They, I know they don't do it now. So, um, that's pretty cool. Of course they give a charging cord. I don't have that. I, I have an old, I, I have an iPhone charger. <laughs> right here. My other, my, uh, Pixel's charge cord is in a different room. So, for me, uh, this is my honest opinion. I think it's kind of obvious which one you should get, being that uh, the Pixel just has so much that is better than the iPhone. So, anyway, uh, from the Kamloops Gaminators group, 
I'm Gamer5. Thanks, stay cool and have fun. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wanted to make this video being that I thought it'd be cool to um compare the iPhone and the Pixel. I did that now. So I I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button, favorite the video, share the video with your family and friends, and subscribe to the channel for more epic content coming your way. And, um, uh, honestly, I don't know what's coming next. I I'm recording a lot. <laughs> a lot of stuff. Um, so, it's bound to be something good. Tune in tomorrow. There's going to be something good on. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you all in the next video. This is Gamer5, signing off. See you later in the Air Army.